today's Health Watch, one of the main challenges for many stroke survivors is adjusting to life after a stroke. Local 5's Connie Fellman introduces us to the local man who turned that challenge into achievement. Paul Brainy from De Pere suffered a stroke while he was undergoing heart surgery. Not only did he survive these two life-threatening events, but he took his recovery to the next level, coming out of retirement to pursue his dream of becoming a math teacher. I retired from my uh, uh, transportation engineering uh, profession, and I was kind of looking for something, the next uh, challenge in life. Paul Vrainy wasn't about to sit back and coast through retirement. He still had things he wanted to do. I always liked math. I one time looked at, I wanted to be maybe a math teacher. I didn't go that direction, but uh, something in the background was kind of was telling me, I, maybe I want to help kids and be, uh, go in that field. In fact, he was well on his way to completing his goal when everything came to an abrupt halt. And then okay. I, once I got into grad school, I got through about halfway through the program and then the stroke happened. That's when Brainy first met Karen Floriano Heimerl, a speech language pathologist at Aurora Baker Medical Center. I met Paul at our stroke support group um, last year. Brainy says he feels fortunate his stroke didn't affect his limbs and was pleased with how much progress he was able to make regaining speech immediately following his stroke. But when he thought about speaking in front of a classroom, he wanted more. I felt that maybe um, I could do better. So Vrainy revisited speech therapy. So one of his big goals was to try to work on being able to speak more clearly so that people can understand him better the first time that he says something. Floriano Heimerl says she and Vrainy mainly worked on motor speech with exercises targeted specifically toward his goals. And can you try that word again? Euclidean. Euclidean. Floriano Heimerl says progress doesn't happen overnight, but with hard work, you can retrain the brain even years after a stroke, which is exactly what Vrainy is doing. For me, we realize that the brain is still helping us. It's so plastic that... Uh, after two years, you can still see improvement, and that's a great thing to know that for coming out of a stroke. Vrainy plans to continue improving his speech while completing one last class before he graduates this December with a master's degree. And you don't have to be a math student to understand the value of this lesson. It just d demonstrates that anything's possible, and if you work at it, it, it can be done, you know? So I uh, just... Uh, doing my, my part here and trying to, to be, be the best person I, I can be. Brandy stresses the importance of getting out of your comfort zone to learn something new. If you'd like to know your risk for having a stroke, go to aurorabaycare.com slash assessments to take an online stroke assessment. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News. Thank you, Connie. Tomorrow in Health Watch, a game changer in the treatment of breast cancer.